Good evening, everyone, and thank you, Chamber and panel, for putting this on tonight. I think it's important to the voters of Orange to get to see the opportunities and choices that they face in selecting a first selectman candidate. I think that all of you out there that are candidates that have decided whether it's your first time, your fourth or your seventh time, to put your name forward to run for elective office in town is an admirable feat. As we see, there are many challenges that face each and every board and commission that the town of Orange deals with. We never quite know what may be coming at us, and we look forward to taking these challenges on head on every time. After eight years as your first selectman, I have faced hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, deaths, fires, and many other tragedies and happy times in this town. Before I came here tonight, ABC is filming here in town a house that is in the contest with eight other homes <coughs> across the country for a Christmas spectacular. A lot of you may be unaware of that, but it's being filmed right now with cheering crowds and happy children and Christmas carols before Halloween. Mm -hmm. It was kind of strange to be there. But that is where I came from, I come as a friend and as first selectman, so we never quite know what the job may entail. Thank you, and I look forward to this debate tonight. <coughs> Thank you. Mr. Lynch, your opening statement, please. Good evening. Um, I chose to run for first selectman because uh, after living in Orange for more than three decades, I came to the conclusion that this administration wasn't serving the, the best interests of the residents and that a person in charge uh, didn't have the vision or the will to make Orange a really better place to reach its full potential. My family and I were drawn to Orange for the same reason many of, of many of us, that's because of its reputation for an excellent education system. I wasn't disappointed. Both my children were products of the Orange public school system and went on to have professional careers that are successful. And I believe that the public education system is still excellent. However, one thing has changed dramatically. When I moved to town in 1981, taxes were under $1,500. Now the average homeowner pays approximately $7,500 annually. And more importantly, in the last eight years since my opponent has been first selected, average residential taxes have increased by more than 25%. Our revenue relies too heavily on residential property taxes and not enough on businesses. As your full-time first selectman, I'll make economic development my top priority. We need proactive leadership in this regard as the present administration has been largely reactive, waiting for businesses to leave before seeking replacements, waiting for our two largest taxpayers to leave town before replacing them with nonprofit institutions. Unfortunately, the current administration chooses to wait by the phone to see if new businesses will call. As first selectman, I intend to aggressively seek out businesses and corporations, build positive relationships and convince them of the opportunities of coming to Orange and bringing them here. Um, in addition, Orange's large and growing senior population requires proactive and public outreach to protect them and serve them, uh, whether they live in their homes or to provide them opportunities to move into senior housing that is affordable, if they choose. 20 years ago, Silverbrook was adequate for our needs, but we have long outgrown that housing stock. It's imperative for Orange to create additional senior housing so that seniors can, af can afford to remain in their orange, close to their friends and family, for as long as they want. During the past six months, I have walked all over this town and spoken to over 2,000 people. I have heard their concerns and seen firsthand how many struggle, concerned that they'll be unable to pay their taxes, maintain their homes, and <clears throat> pay for their basic necessities, or sadly, where they have given up and are moving away. They are why I am running. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. Our first uh, question, well, first I have to make a point that when I was leaving the house this morning, uh, this morning, the, this